the best dishes to eat in the Philippines. Filipino cuisine has recently been tagged as the next big thing to look out for in the culinary world. With the country's variety of influences throughout its rich history, its traditional cooking techniques, and the Filipino snack for combining flavors and making the most of any and all ingredients at their disposal. What results is unpretentious, no frills food that's simply delicious. First up is adobo. It's the Filipino dish everybody knows, the mighty adobo. It is made by stewing meat, usually chicken, pork, or a combination of both in soy sauce and vinegar, adding peppercorns and bay leaves for that special flavor. Bonus leftover tip. Pull the meat from the bone and fry till crispy for some tasty adobo flakes. Next, we have kare kare. This rich stew is made with peanut sauce and customarily oxtail, but other meatier cuts of beef can also be added in. Many Filipinos will consider kare kare incomplete without a serving of baguong, fermented seafood paste on the side. Next up, we have lechon, one of the top contenders among the best Filipino dishes alongside adobo is perhaps the famous lechon. After all, it is hard to top a tasty, fully roasted pig with a perfectly crisp skin and juicy meat. Find the best of this sinful treat on the island of Cebu, but this is almost always served at any grand Pinoy gatherings or fiesta. Next, we have Sinigang. Sinigang is a Pinoy classic. A delicious sour broth usually made tangy by tamarind, sometimes kamyas. It's filled with different vegetables and a meat of choice. Popular variants include sinigang na baboy, pork, sinigang na hipon, shrimp, and sinigang na isda, fish. Next, we have crispy pata. If you can't get your hands on an entirely chon, a scrumptious crispy pata is an equally sinful alternative. It's a dish that takes the entire pig leg and deep fries it to perfection. Serve with a soy vinegar dipping sauce on the side with some chopped up garlic and chili and you're on the road to your next favorite guilty pleasure. Next up, we have sisig. Served sizzling on a hot stone plate. Sisig is a favorite pulutan, berchow among Filipinos. The meat is primarily chopped up parts of the pig's face in the Philippines. No cut of the animal goes to waste. Some recipes use either mayonnaise or raw egg to be mixed in while hot to give it a creamier texture. But the classic way is to incorporate pig's brain into the dish. Next, we have pancit guisado. One of the more popular Filipino dishes among foreigners with Pinoy friends due to its customary presence in Filipino birthday parties is pancit or noodles, of which pancit guisado is perhaps the most well-known variant. This noodle dish is served as a symbol for long life, hence an essential at birthday feasts. The sautéed noodles are complemented by sliced vegetables and meat all cooked in broth, soy sauce, and fish sauce, and calamansi is squeezed over upon serving. Of course, we have Bulalo. The perfect company for a cool, rainy day in the Philippines is a nice hot bowl of Bulalo. This tasty soup is made by slow-cooking beef shanks and bone marrow, still in the bone in some water with fish sauce, onions and peppercorns and later adding in some vegetables. Especially known for this dish is the province of Batangas in the country's southern Luzon region. Next up, pork barbecue. A merienda, snack in between meals, favorite in the Philippines is Pinoy pork barbecue. While the skewered sweet meat goes wonderfully well with the ubiquitous plain rice during meals, there's also nothing like catching yourself hungry in the middle of the afternoon and conveniently walking down the street 
over to the vendors grilling them roadside for only 15 pesos a stick. Next, we have palabok. Vibrantly orange and jam-packed with different textures and flavors, palabok is another well-loved way of cooking pancit. It is mixed in with a shrimp sauce which gets its recognizable color from anado powder. It is finished off with a variety of toppings such as slices of hard-boiled eggs, crushed chicharron or pork greens, pinapa, smoked fish flakes, and spring onions. And of course, Filipino breakfast dishes, the silog. A hearty Filipino breakfast typically consists of meat, sinangag, garlic fried rice, and itlog, egg. Each dish name varies slightly depending on the meat that goes with the rice and egg. So for example, a plate of tapa, cured beef, sinangag ang itlog, is called tapsilog. A plate including tocino, sweet cured pork instead of tapa, is called tosilog. While one that uses longanisa, sausages, is known as long silog. These generous breakfast servings are a great way to kickstart a day. Next up, Bistec Tagalog. Bistec Tagalog or the Filipino beef steak is a delicious blend of salty, sour, and sweet flavors. Thinly sliced beef is marinated in a mixture of mainly soy sauce and calamansi, fried and then topped with caramelized onions. The onions are just sweet enough to cut into and balance the strong salty and acidic tastes infused into the meat. Next is fried lumpia. Another dish frequently expected to make an appearance at Filipino gatherings is the Pinoy's version of egg roll, lumpia. These deep fried rolls are filled with minced meat and vegetables and served with a sweet and sour dipping sauce. Being so easy to make, lumpia is almost automatically part of a Filipino feast. When food for the large Filipino family has to be cooked in copious amounts. Next is beef caldereta. Caldereta is a Filipino beef stew made extra rich and tasty by tomato sauce and beaver paste. Goat meat can also be used in place of beef and mixed in. It's a merry making of vegetables which typically include carrots, bell peppers, and potatoes. Next, we have dinuguan. Another Filipino stew, albeit a more eccentric one, is the dark-tinted dinuguan. It's made by cooking pork and inards in pig's blood and vinegar. It's often eaten with puto, a slightly sweet steamed rice cake which complements its savory taste. Next up, Inihaw na liempo Inihaw na liempo or grilled pork belly is juicy cuts of perhaps the tastiest part of the pig, marinated and grilled, basting the meat as it cooks. Depending on the desired taste, a typical liempo marinade can be a mixture of any of the following. Soy sauce, fish sauce, banana ketchup, garlic, calamansi, brown sugar, salt, and pepper. Eat with your hands, your sausawan, dipping sauce of choice, and a generous serving of plain rice. Perfect! Next, we have ginataang gulay. Gata or coconut milk is basically culinary gold. Anything cooked in gata is bound to turn out fantastic. For anyone needing a break from the typical meat-heavy Filipino dishes, simply cook your favorite vegetables in some coconut milk. It works exceptionally well with squash and string beans, and some chile can be added for an interesting kick. Next is chicken in a sal. This flavorful grilled chicken, the best of which is made in the city of Bacolod, sits in a special marinade of vinegar, calamansi, ginger, and lemongrass. It owes its appetizing golden brown color to anato oil, which is also poured over the plain rice it is served with. Dip the chicken in cinnamon, spice vinegar for some extra zest. Next up is kilawin. Kilawin, also called kinilaw, is the Filipino ceviche. 
Seafood is often used such as tuna and tanige, which is then cured in vinegar and calamansi. Onions are usually added in as well as some chile for a more complex blend of flavors. Kilowin is normally served as an appetizer or as pulutan, very chow, when drinking. Next up is arroz caldo, frequently eaten at breakfast and merienda. Arroz caldo is a rice porridge, taking its flavors from ginger, garlic, onions, and a tasty broth. Cuts of chicken and hard-boiled eggs are also added in, and individual servings are finished off with fried garlic bits, chopped green onions, and a drizzle of calamansi. And our last but not the least is lechon kawale. Though not everybody has access to a backyard and a space to charcoal roast an entire pig, there's still a way to enjoy the guilt-inducing goodness of lechon by cooking it in a kawale or wok. Pork belly is cooked in boiling water, usually with bay leaves, peppercorn, and salt, until tender, air-dried, given a salt rub, and deep-fried until golden brown. The aim is perfect crackling skin and tender meat. Enjoy with lechon gravy or spiced vinegar. Please comment below the best dishes you tried to eat in the Philippines. Also, like and subscribe Clefformation channel and click the notification bell for latest updates.